NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft has been sent back its first message from interstellar space. Voyager 2 had just returned after years in deep space and what it sent shocked NASA. As the final packets of data trickled through the deep space network's antennas, engineers watched in stunned silence. Every byte that materialized on their screen seemed to defy decades of assumptions about the universe beyond our solar system. The signal itself carried not only measurements and images, but whispers of phenomena so unexpected that seasoned scientists exchanged bewildered glances searching for rational explanations, even as their hearts pounded with exhilaration. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. From the moment Voyager 2's titanium gold hull emerged from the inky blackness beyond the termination shock, its return journey was a testament to human ingenuity. Launched in 1977 and long presumed lost to the emptiness of interstellar space, the probe had drifted farther than any man-made object its power sources dwindling and systems aging far beyond their designed lifespans. Yet here it was, intact enough to crank its antennas earthward and re-establish communication after decades of silence. The feat alone would have been extraordinary, but what followed would alter our understanding of the cosmos. When the first data stream arrived, it seemed innocuous. Raw telemetry, instrument statuses, diagnostic logs. Then came the spectrometer readings a series of spectral signatures that flickered across the display like an alien Morse code. Dr. Elena Martinez, veteran of countless Mars missions, leaned forward, her eyes narrowing as she compared the curves with known cosmic ray profiles. Nothing matched. The energy levels were both too high and too sharply peaked, as if particles were being accelerated by a mechanism far more powerful and focused than any natural phenomenon catalog to date. Across the control room, murmurs grew louder, blending fascination with a trace of unease. Images followed. At first glance, they looked like distant nebulae and star fields tinged with the familiar hues of hydrogen alpha emissions. But subtle distortions betrayed themselves. Filaments of gas weaving in impossible spirals, points of light arranged in geometric arrays that no gravitational dance could produce. Each frame arrived with accompanying metadata that listed coordinates supposedly billions of light years away, yet the structures depicted defied the expectations of galactic formation. The lines of starlight curved around voids as if shaped by an unseen scaffold, a cosmic lattice that had never entered the lexicon of astrophysics. Meanwhile, magnetometer readings revealed fluctuations so precise, it was as though Voyager 2 had encountered fields woven with crystalline regularity. These oscillations pulsed with a coherence that hinted at intentional modulation, as if the spacecraft had crossed a vast field engineered by a civilization with mastery over magnetic domains. NASA's theoretical physicists, accustomed to debating dark matter or exotic particles, found themselves grappling with the possibility that an intelligence, artificial or biological, had left its signature etched across light years. The shock deepened when the plasma wave subsystem detected rhythmic pulses at intervals too steady to be natural. Every 15 minutes, a burst of ionized particles washed over the probe, their arrival synchronized with clockwork precision. No known pulsar or magnetar exhibited such regularity. Earthbound emitters could be ruled out by triangulating the source. It was as if some distant beacon, invisible across the electromagnetic spectrum, had been silently broadcasting for eons its message finally intercepted by Voyager 2 on its homeward path. Hypotheses flew like sparks among the scientists. Could this be evidence of an ancient civilization's long-abandoned communication network? Perhaps a galactic way station? A marker left by travelers from beyond? Or was it a natural occurrence so rare that it had simply escaped detection until now? Every conjecture carried profound implications for our place in the universe. If intelligence existed elsewhere, waiting in silent ambush beyond our solar shores, each theory demanded a re-evaluation of humanity's assumed solitude. The implications for physics were equally staggering. The energy distributions recorded by Voyager's instruments hinted at processes that might require a re-evaluation of our particle acceleration models. If such high-energy peaks could arise outside known astrophysical engines like supernova remnants or black hole jets, then the fundamental mechanics of cosmic particle dynamics might be incomplete. The data compelled a re-examination of long-held theorems, 
opening the door to novel physics that could reshape our understanding of matter, energy, and the forces that bind the universe. Biologists and xenobiologists too felt the reverberations of Voyager 2's revelations. The probe's mass spectrometer had captured organic compounds far more complex than the simple hydrocarbons previously identified in comets or interstellar dust. Among them were polymers resembling amino acid chains arranged in three-dimensional matrices suggesting prebiotic assembly. While still inconclusive proof of life, these structures argued for chemical processes in the void that rivaled those on early Earth. The idea that space itself could harbor the seeds of biology, assembling intricate molecules in the cold expanse, sent ripples through laboratories searching for life's origins. Voyager's unexpected return also underscored the resilience of human-made machines in extreme environments. The spacecraft's systems, battered by cosmic radiation and frozen by the frigid void, had maintained enough functionality to deliver not only raw data but nuanced observations. Engineers pored over telemetry, detailing how Voyager's thermal control, power regulation, and fault protection had continued operating beyond their projected lifetimes. Lessons drawn from this robustness promised to inform the design of future interstellar probes, spacecraft built not merely to endure, but to thrive in the harshest reaches of space. At the same time, the event rekindled debates over the ethics and responsibilities of interstellar exploration. If we were now aware of signals potentially sent by other intelligences, what obligations did we hold? The impulse to respond, to send our own messages, clashed with cautionary voices advocating silence to avoid alerting unseen watchers. Voyager 2's unplanned homecoming forced a confrontation with questions that had once seemed abstract. Should humanity actively reach out to the cosmos, or maintain a cosmic primacy through discretion? Philosophers weighed in. Reflecting on the symbolic meaning of a human artifact's triumphant return from the abyss, Voyager 2 had embodied our desire to stretch beyond boundaries, to translate the unknown into knowledge. Its return signaled not just a technological success, but a profound link between past aspirations and future possibilities. The shock it delivered to NASA transcended data anomalies. It reignited wonder, humility, and awe in equal measure. In classrooms around the world, excited educators used Voyager 2's findings to inspire a new generation. Students, previously fatigued by routine STEM curricula, found themselves captivated by the notion that the universe might harbor intricate patterns, complex molecules, and perhaps intelligences waiting to be discovered. The spacecraft's tale of endurance and revelation became more than a mission log. It became a narrative of human curiosity triumphing over cosmic indifference. As scientists began combing Voyager 2's transmissions for deeper clues, the discourse spread across disciplines. Astronomers recalibrated their telescopes to search for the source of the rhythmic pulses. Chemists studied analogs of the polymeric compounds in terrestrial labs. Engineers sketched designs for next-generation probes equipped with adaptive systems modeled on Voyager's proven resilience. Each field found new questions embedded in the probe's legacy, turning NASA's shock into a catalyst for collaborative inquiry. Yet perhaps the most profound implication lay in the simple fact that a journey meant to extend only a few decades had spanned nearly half a century before reaching fruition. Voyager 2's return blurred the lines between mission and myth, transforming a spacecraft into an ambassador of human tenacity. It reminded us that the universe, for all its vastness, remains permeable to curiosity driven by a single question, what lies beyond? Beyond the tantalizing data, Voyager 2's journey illuminated the power of perseverance. Decades-old circuits designed in an era before microprocessors shrank to a fraction of their former size had quietly adapted to ever-diminishing power levels, evidencing an elegance and simplicity that modern engineers often overlook. The probe's enduring radioisotope thermoelectric generators, once thought too meager for such extended missions, now inspired proposals for energy harvesting systems that could tap cosmic rays or interstellar medium drift for supplemental power. Cultural scholars even noted how Voyager 2's narrative bridged generational divides. Grandparents recounted the excitement of its launch, while grandchildren charted its course through interactive simulations, forging a shared legacy across time. Ultimately, Voyager 2 became more than a vessel of discovery. 
It stood as a living testament to human ingenuity's capacity to endure the vastness of space, reminding us that innovation often blossoms under the quiet pressure of isolation and unrelenting challenge. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Voyager 2's return? What do you expect it discovered? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.